Atlanta City officials say they've been unable to deliver millions in rental assistance money to residents. The cash, which is part of the U.S. COVID relief funds, totals $10 million. Fox 5's Morse Diggs tells us city council members had no idea that amount will be sent back to Washington. Morse is live in Northeast Atlanta with reaction this afternoon. Morse. Well, the various pots of COVID relief money, they have a shelf life, a deadline. If you don't use it, you lose it. I pay over $1,230 in rent alone. I got two kids I'm taking care of, so anything can, can help me out right now. There was excitement about a big basket of funds governments like the city of Atlanta could make available for housing assistance to help families on the margin. Utilities, rent, the free money helped many stay afloat during COVID. Atlanta City Executive Jerry Deloach monitored all the spending and delivered some news that surprised city council members. Did I hear you correctly that there were some emergency rental funds that we're going to end up sending back? That's correct. It's about $10 million that we're going to send back. We did everything we possibly could to make sure that all available um, people who applied received those funds and level of interest uh, decreased. Citizen advocate James Davenport worked hard, including on this afternoon, to let people know about the program. He suspects City Hall may not have worked hard enough to market the rental assistance program. To return $10 million, to have to send money back when we have thousands of people who are in need, it's just it's unconscionable. Atlanta's finance chief explained the gap in execution occurred in the last batch of funding totaling $21 million. We were able to help out a lot of people. So thousands of people did get help in this overall program. It's just in this last batch with the $21 million. Interest just seemed to wane. Mr. Davenport says perhaps more marketing to let people know the money was still available should have been done. From Northeast Atlanta, I'm Morse Diggs, Fox 5 News. All right, Morse, thanks.